Hey Clover's Reptile family, thanks for joining us on this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and comment down below telling us what you think about this video. So in this video, we're gonna show you a small but powerful clutch of babies. Um, the male was a super arctic snow to a extreme red super anaconda albino female. Really cool um, set of babies. So let's go check them out. very special really cool project that we um, have been wanting to work on and finally able to produce some stuff here so the thing with this one was um, we didn't have that many good eggs the female got egg bound and um, or it took very long to lay her eggs so only five good eggs I mean was it four, five eggs were laid and only four hatched and I think like another four or five she laid but she took so long to lay them and there were such big eggs that the uh, um, embryo was suffocated so they were already bad by the time they were laid so i think it took her almost uh, over 24 hours to lay all the eggs but what we have here is a pairing between a purple line super arctic snow and snow is albino and a xantic mixed combo and um what we and then to a purple line extreme red Super Anaconda, Albino, Possible Head, Exantic, so Possible Head uh, for Snow as well, female. And what we got out is four um, Arctic Albino Anacondas, 100% Head Snow. So we didn't, we weren't able to prove out the head, a Possible Head Exantic on the female with such a little bit of eggs. So hopefully next year, maybe we could do another breeding and see if we can uh, work that out. So. Um, which is really cool about this too is this is comes from that extreme red lineage from JMG reptiles from Jeff Galewood and the reds of the female are out of this world super super red you know very bright very uh, color saturated so we wanted to add that to the snow project and the reason all these animals are anaconda and arctic and albino is because first the male was super arctic super arctic is a incomplete dominant gene so only one parent needs to cop, color uh carry one copy of it but since the dad was super arctic he carried two copies of it so it guarantees that every single offspring is going to be a arctic and then same thing for the anaconda gene as the female was and it's another incomplete dominant that only one parent needs to cop, uh, carry a copy to pass it on to some of the offspring. Since she's a super conda, she has no pattern on her body. And it uh, basically transferred to every offspring. So basically you see that every, every baby here has the reduction of pattern, which is really nice. And then they're albino because both parents were albino. So the female's albino and then the male was albino exantic visual that creates the snows so how that's how it worked and then they're all 100% exantic because since the male is visual he 100% passes on one copy of the exantic uh, gene and like I said we didn't get any um, snows but maybe there's next year we could try it out again or in the future we're very happy with this and how this this parent came out so let's go put them away now and I'm going to pick, so I have a very um, split decision on here. I'm going to keep um, a female and probably a male. I'm not 100% on the male yet, but I'm going to keep a female and a male. And, um, and see how it goes. So there's, a fe there's two females and two males. I already checked the sex because it was so excited that I wanted to check. But there's one female right here that she's more on the pink side with more white background, very high expression Arctic. See if you guys catch it on the camera. Um, and then the other female is this one, I believe. Yes. 
So she has more coloration of the reds. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this female. Since I wanna go more for color than this Arctic. Um, this is a higher expression Arctic and more pink, but this one has more color on the pattern. So that's a very hard one. And maybe after a few sheds, we'll see how um, how they develop. Which one, you guys, would you guys keep number one? Female number one or female number two? Uh, comment, put a comment down below on which one female you would want to keep. So let's put the females first. And again, I'll show you guys. Show everyone. Nice little short stubby tail. I want to put her in our enclosure. I want to take this moment to mention and thank our sponsors and partnerships. Sea Serpents is our official sponsor, known for their exceptional customer service and top quality. They offer a wide range of PVC racks and incubators designed to meet the needs of every reptile enthusiast. Their products are built with durability and efficiency in mind, ensuring your reptiles have a safe and comfortable environment. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional breeder, Sea Serpents has the perfect solution for your growing collection. Want to take your reptile husbandry and record keeping to the next level? Use our exclusive code CLOVER60 for a free 60-day trial of Husbandry Pro, an all-in-one reptile tracking software that will streamline your reptile care routine. When it comes to shipping or receiving our reptiles, Ship Your Reptiles is our top choice. Trust them to handle your reptiles with care. Use code CLOVERS15 to save on your next shipment. Feeding your reptiles a varied diet is essential, and Reptilinks offers raw whole prey reptile food trusted by the best zoos and keepers in the industry. Use code CLOVER to save $5 on your next order. Thank you for your support. And then the other female, like I said, it was the more um, light background, pinkish color female. There we go. Still very pretty. Great pattern too. Now let's move on to the males. So this male, I really like a lot. Same thing, he has more color, more color saturation than this one. There we go. You know, that's another reason too, I like wearing these black gloves because it helps uh, bring out the colors of these snakes in the camera. There you go. That's really nice. See if I can get this guy to stay a little still so we can get a better look at him. Really nice. So we're gonna put away this male and they have that very clear belly because of the condo gene. And that is the um and let's set up the second male. Nice long tail. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit the like button and comment down below as usual. And we'll see you guys on the next one.